Hi everybody, welcome once again to these lessons. Um, today I'm just going to do uh, in English because of uh, lack of time. Uh, para quem fala português e, não, e tem alguma dúvida uh, ao, ao ver esta aula, que nem, se não entenderem alguma coisa, queiram deixar um comentário, por favor, e terei o maior gosto em responder às vossas questões. A minha santa é o escana em dia, se me imaginem. Shitsu mo atara, tozo no comento, no box, na nika kaite kudasai. So let's get started. Um, today's subject is um, piston hips. Okay, so piston hips is this movement done with the hips. So you lift, when you lift one hip, automatically you drop the other one, and then it's a sharp, very sharp staccato movement. Okay, it looks like this. So it's not up, down, up, down, it's all together. So in this case, it looks like the feeling is as if your knees could not uh, bend. It's as if you're really stiff on the legs and it's all working from here. And you can do anything, you can go around, you can go to the side, you can go down like this, it's just really, really cool. Okay, now this is quite hard. Why? Because you need great power coming from the obliques. Now, you can strengthen your obliques by doing an abdominal crunch, lying on the floor, going sideways, okay? So any kind of movement like this will strengthen the obliques. However, it's not a functional exercise. So, functional exercise means that you are actually going to teach something to the hip, uh, excuse me, to the muscle, something that we use in daily life. Now, this is not used in daily life, but it is used in dance, so it becomes a functional a functional skill that uh, you acquire. So we're going to start by doing standing crunches that will help you uh, getting strong. So you can lift your hip and your whole leg just with the oblique. And, uh, and then we will do um, the exercises that we normally do when we dance. So how to apply this movement to normal dance uh, circumstance. Okay, so let's get the music started. So let's start with scrunches. So the foot is off the floor, stretch your knee, relax your leg. The leg is, should be heavy and relaxed, okay? Don't use your knee, just lift from here. Up, down. So if you balance right, notice that my shoulders are not moving. I'm not doing this. Okay. Only this muscle is working. Fourth leg is doing an incredible workout as well. You will feel your hamstrings, your quadriceps, and your gluteus burning. Okay, faster. Okay, now, of course, you should repeat this as many times as you can until it burns. Okay? But for a question of time, let's just do a few reps. Up, down, so slowly. Up, down, up, down, okay. Up, up. Now, working on different speeds is also very important, especially for the balance and control. Okay, fast. Up, up. See how it tightens and crunches just here? There's no other movement. You get the idea, okay? Now, how do we use this? Let's go on, elevate any point, and lift one foot, actually, the whole foot leg is off the floor. Now, as I land this leg, immediately I lift this one. You have to do it a little bit faster, otherwise you cannot bounce. Down, down. So I'm lifting the feet off the floor. My feet are doing this, and you can't see. Okay, a bit faster. I'm not going like that. Obviously. Down, down. Or up, 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 up. Crunch, 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 crunch. Okay, faster. 
keep adding these very small steps. I'm not lifting so much off the front. Oh, really As I am lifting the foot off the foot, obviously I can move. And change. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. This is in place with the feet totally planted on the floor. It's a bit hard, it's going to be the subject for another lesson. We're going to do this with level change, but that's another lesson. So first, just try to do uh, as I told you. So I'm on relevé, I'm on demi point, on the ball, balls of my feet. Try to dominate this, get strong obliques. And then we're going to do the more complicated version, okay? So thank you so much for joining me uh, one more time. I hope you learned a lot and see you soon. Thank you.